Hi, I'm Bert the Brachiopod. I'm going to explain the geology of the North Pennines. My story starts long before the North Pennines existed, 4.6 billion years ago, where it all began. The Earth was formed from colliding space debris, which was formed from an ancient star exploding. Boom! From the formation of the Earth, it took billions of years for complex life to form. The Earth's crust is made of pieces that can slide underneath each other. This is how the slates under the North Pennines were formed. In the Devonian era, the North Pennines were uplifted due to magma intruding under the rock. This magma eventually cooled to form what we now call the Weardale Granite. We are now in the Carboniferous era. This was when I evolved. Happy birthday to me. The Pennines was close to the equator during this time, which made England very warm with tropical swamps and shallow seas which led to the formation of limestone and sandstone. Three hundred million years ago, magma intruded between the rocks, forming the famous Wind Sill, which is well known in this area. The Weardale granite heated surrounding water which arose through the cracks and caused mineral deposits to form. This was my most favourite era, the Mesozoic. Do you want to know why? Well, it was because of the dinosaurs. Raw. Sadly, we don't find any in the North Pennines. This area in the Triassic period was covered in scorching deserts as part of Pangaea, a supercontinent formed when all the continents were joined together. The Mesozoic ended around 66 million years ago, and sadly, this was the end of the dinosaurs, along with 75% of life. But luckily, I survived. Woohoo! The Armathwaite Dyke was created from magma being injected into the cracks and started pushing the rocks apart. Finally, the last thing to have occurred was the Ice Age, which sculpted the landscape. Now we are all caught up to modern day, where new rocks are being formed by weathering and erosion. <laughs>